So again, you're listening to the Duncan Duo Real Estate Show here on 970 WFLA. Any other insurance stuff that you wanted to get to, Angela? That's it for this week. So again, we insure the bay. Dot com for all of your homeowners, auto, and business insurance needs. One thing about the business insurance, and I'm super grateful, you know, because we own multiple companies. But when you started uh, on the insurance side, you had a massive amount of experience about uh, with homeowners because of the you know the business we're in, and then the number of homes that we've owned and, and you know invested in, and um, you know you're, you're learning about the business insurance and all of the the endorsements that are available for business owners if you're a business owner out there or an entrepreneur and and you know you you're concerned at all about liability i would look at your business insurance policy and make sure as all the endorsements that your business should need or that you may uh you know be, be liable towards because some of those endorsements are very inexpensive but if someone really doesn't pay attention and know what they're doing on business insurance, they could write you just some generic policy that doesn't cover you for most of the things that could cause liability in your business. Right. So oftentimes they'll write you just a general liability policy, which really is a limited policy on if someone were to sue you. Like a slip and fall or something like that, not really specific things. Yep. So we go through a full application and ask a lot of different questions because, like you said, there are a lot of endorsements depending on what type of business they're in. Um, that we recommend that they add to their policy, you know, whether or not they have employees, there could be workers comp, do they drive vehicles, um, cyber security is a huge thing nowadays because people are always hacking into different systems. Um, but yeah, there's just a ton of different options that you can add to your business policy that you want to make sure you're fully covered in the event that you do get sued or, or have a need for it. Yeah, I mean, it was great for us when you when you went through that process because you learned so much that wasn't in our existing policies that was affordable and in some instances with better carriers and lower cost for us. So if you're a business owner and you have business insurance and, and you're, you know, you want a second opinion or you want to see what, you know, endorsements are out there, or maybe here, here's another important one um, that I think is important for business owners. Um, people will get business insurance, you know, five, six, seven years ago when they started their business and their business was small and it was just them and they were just starting out and now they've got, now they've grown. Now they've got this great big company with lots of employees and marketing and advertising. Their risk needs changed, they, but they didn't update their policy. So every year as a business owner, I would tell you to look at your insurance and say, does this cover my risk? Right. Am I safe here or do I need to look at what you know, some other? What has changed in my business? Correct. What, what kind of risk tolerance do I now have now that I have 50 employees and all these other things going on versus when I started you know, out, of my, out of my basement or something you know, or out of my garage? So, uh, yeah, so definitely as a business owner, we insure the bay.com. 